brain. It's here on the Alex Jones Show. Yeah, Once it's that. burned into your brain, it'll save your life. If you don't listen to me, we're going to be in lockdown too very soon. And it's going to be a lot worse than the first one. And then after that, the big one comes. They're just testing, locking us down before they release the real bioweapons and actually kill billions. Now, don't be dying in your house a year or two from now wishing you'd listen to me. This is all real. I'm telling you exactly what I know is going on. You don't need me to tell you. You can see it being prepared everywhere. So, Anthony Fauci, Joseph Mengele, angel of death, war criminal, 2.0. Probably every national, international law you can imagine, lying about the shots, everything. He was deposed because it's come out in court documents and emails that he was quarterbacking. We already told you this, but now it's admitted. With big tech, with the media, with everybody, through the U.N. The U.N. since gone on national TV, we played it a month ago, and said, yeah, we tell big tech and the media what to say and what to do and what allowed to be said. Not just by people on online or talk show hosts, but by their own employees. Like one NBC reporter locally reported what the police said that the wife of Pelosi, uh, the husband of Pelosi, opened the door and let him in, and they were both in underwear. He got suspended. Turns out it was true. He just reported what the cops told him. But he didn't take his orders about John, the husband of Pelosi. John Pelosi. So that's how controlled this is, ladies and gentlemen. That's why they can't have us on air. They can't have anybody able to say anything that countermands or goes against the ridiculous narratives they're giving us. So Fauci is in a deposition over all this with two attorney generals. They combined them, Missouri and Louisiana. And here's the headline. Louisiana AG slams Fauci for not answering questions during deposition about his handling of COVID-19. AG Jeff Landry of Louisiana says, wow, it was amazing we spent seven hours with Dr. Fauci, the man who single-handedly wrecked the U.S. economy based upon the science, only discovered that he can't recall particularly anything dealing with his COVID response and doesn't remember coordinating the media to block treatments or to block news that any of it was a fraud. It's that big deal. Let's move on from that. Pfizer's CEO, who says I'm the, quote, most evil man on earth last week, and that I'm, quote, an agent of evil, has gotten a lot of trouble by regulators for making misleading statements about children and vaccines and saying they're safe and effective and protect you. That's the London Telegraph. They got an EU criminal investigation of him going right now. Another study finds heart inflammation higher among Moderna vaccinations versus Pfizer. Why? Because all the Moderna is, is the equivalent of four Pfizer shots. So it's four times stronger than Pfizer, the exact same injection. And of course, it's worse for you. Uh, really didn't know that. Told you that two years ago. COVID-19 researcher blows the whistle on data integrity. Issues in Pfizer's vaccine. Robert Kennedy Jr., Robert Barnes are involved in the lawsuit. It's now confirmed that they covered up the deaths and illnesses in their study, but even their fixed study admitted more people died that had the shot than didn't have the shot. Huge, giant, major news. The British Medical Journal, that's what this is, has come out with a bunch of studies the last two weeks confirming that the vaccine isn't a vaccine, destroys your immune system, causes all sorts of blood clots, creates nanotech, basically prions. That's what causes mad cow disease in the body. It goes on and on. That's the British Medical Journal. I got literally like 50 of these. I can't go over them all. <laughs> Just, uh, Operation Lockstep doubles down. That's a powerful John Bound report on their new lockdown plans coming out. To, to, to bring in the whole global digital currency control grid. That's coming up last segment. You know what, actually, next segment I need to, yeah, yeah, next segment I'm going to hit the China rebellion that's going on with so huge. In the last segment of this hour, I'm going to hit this uh, and so much more. As an oncologist, I'm seeing people with stable cancer rapidly progress after being forced to have a booster. We have a year and a half old study by Germany's top cancer research institute based at their biggest university 
where the director of the institute had cancer in remission, lymphomic, took the shot, it came back really bad, took the next shot, killed him in two weeks. But before he died, he wrote a study how it killed him. But this is another oncologist. I mean, there's just literally hundreds of studies that this thing grows cancer. But that's okay. Another big report. It goes along with the John Bowne report, a Greg Reese report. It's up on Band Out Video. Canadian Psychiatric Association triggers anti-vaxxers. Canadian Psychiatric Association targets anti-vaxxers. They all need to be arrested. There's no problem. The shots work. Anybody questioning it should be locked up in a mental institution, even though the facts are all in. Medical Journal claims anti-vaxxers cause deadly clots in vaccinated people by scaring them about vaccine dangers. Yes, that's why the blood clots are exploding. It's psychosomatic. It's placebo. U.S. military biological activities, a threat to the world, says Russia. And it goes on and on. Sask woman dies allegedly after COVID booster, daughter in shock. But Buddha Judge, the head of the Transportation Department, is back in the news. He says in this video clip, I'm showing TV viewers, he says that it works 100% and protects you and you can't get sick if you have the shot. So they're back to the same lies of two years ago. Why not? They didn't get in trouble for it. Meanwhile, the former chief scientist at Pfizer, who retired a year before this all happened three years ago, three and a half years ago, has now looked at all the data, and he says in early 2020, after the lockdowns, people were being admitted to hospital and dying in large numbers. I think they were being murdered. Then he goes over all the evidence. Teen's death three weeks after Pfizer vaccine triggers investigation. Here's another headline. Even Washington Post admits that COVID is now a pandemic of the vaccinated. But don't worry. They now have their new COVID-19 influenza A and B antigen test kit where it won't tell you you have the flu or COVID. Remember, there was basically no flu worldwide during the first year of COVID because they were counting flu as COVID to scare people into the shot that actually causes COVID and makes your body actually grow the spike proteins that make you sick. But now the main antigen test counts flu as COVID and they tell you on the box it does. Fraud upon fraud upon fraud. Half a million UK workers drop out of workforce citing long-term illnesses. Most of them, quote, vaccinated. Now that's just one stack on the COVID. I've got three more. But when we come back, Klaus Schwab tells it all and says China is the model of the global government takeover and what they're about to set up. And we're going to look at the huge massive demonstrations against dehumanization and mass death. People are locked up to 100 plus days starving to death inside these buildings who aren't even sick. Everybody knows the virus is only infective for like two weeks. They don't care. It's all about a raw, crazy exercise of power. Why is Xi Jinping doing this? It started one month before he was declared dictator. It's all coming up. Stay with us. I've got some good news and bad news. InfoWars is...